But this is precisely the question of what is non-metaphysical. This is perhaps a, a way of putting the question not as a negative of metaphysics. That would be given by how? By a kind of uh, going out? How? Where? No, by a kind of uh, returning, simply metaphysics. You know that's already, and, and we know that to Heidegger, the question of the, the reversing, uh, returning Plato of the supposed Platonism. So as you, as you yourself uh, reminded, uh, um, the, the coming out from metaphysics shall come from inside of metaphysics. And then it comes that too, through this big question about Heidegger. And I, I must uh, say that what I said in one sentence here, it is possible to demonstrate how much Christianity there is in Heidegger. I can, I can <laughs> briefly, <laughs> if you want, develop that. First, I would say, how it is possible for Heidegger to make as if Christianity would be a kind of pure accident. Christianity and Latinity at the same time, you know? Latinity and Christianity are for Heidegger the, the bad translation of the Greek, like from physis to natura, and so. And uh, uh, the, the, uh, the kind of uh, the pure accident of the modern world, but this accident is at the same time what constitutes onto theology as such. So there is some, some uh, little, um, I don't know, discrepance, right, right. disaccordance or contradiction even by Heidegger. But there is not, I mean, the accident part, it's, that's right, there are some uh, Heidegger uh, things. Some, some Heidegger, sometimes Heidegger says it, but more importantly, is his science, the science, the Geschichte des Science Geschicks. Mm -hmm. And in the history of, of being, with a big B, you know, there certainly uh, the Rome is not an accident. It's, it's it, a, he doesn't say that. No, no. He <laughs> never says that Rome is not an accident. <laughs> He never, <laughs> he never um, uh, make any emphasize in, in that sense on Rome, no, on Christianity. No? No, no. I, no, no. The, 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 with, uh, with the Greek, uh, this, uh, the last, uh, last uh, epoch of the Geschichte, Geschichte, Geschichte of being. Yeah, but, but the, the science Geschichte ended us in the Technik. That's why as Technik is the, is the vollendete metaphysik. What is uh, what sorry, is I have to speak German now, otherwise, you know, I will be in such a disadvantage. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no. If you want, what is, what is techniques? Or, or, you say techniques, technology. technology or, or what is technology? Technology is, I'm, I am thinking mainly, and uh, that's from Grund, you know, principle of reason in Heidegger. Technology is mainly uh, on one part, taking the nature as a stock and, and crystal, and that's all. But the technology is taking out, making sense uh, visible, an absence of reason, of the abgrund or ungrund. No? So technology, technology, which is certainly the point we have, we have the more to re-elaborate, uh, partly against the, 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 the attitude of Heidegger, which is a, um, a very traditional, formal, and not interesting one against technology, criticizing uh, technology. So technology as the achievement of metaphysics is already the self-deconstruction of metaphysics. Right. The self-deconstruction uh, shows how, at the place of the Grund, or the, the the founding reason, there is no founding reason. There is an absence of founding reason. But the paradoxical uh, part is that he said, is, this is the perfection of metaphysics. Yes. Vollendung. Yes. Right? 
This end is also the vollendung and also the uh, possibility nicht, from, from the framing from, from the Stell zum Ereignis zu kommen. Das ist übrigens meine Dissertation, also vorsichtig hier bitte. <lacht> also there is, there is also here in this uh, perfection, there is inbuilt a, a way out, or, which is a way in. You know, there is a world after uh, being. I, I just think that, uh, that uh, in one way, because of the whole work of Heidegger is uh, uh, being complicated, that in one way, Heidegger remains, uh, if you want, in a kind of dualistic. You know, perfection of metaphysics and then something else than metaphysics. Uh, something else that would be at the same time before with a pre-Socratic and, and after with uh, thinking after philosophy, things like that. But ATC, ATT is uh, visible into Heidegger himself when he finally uh, did state that even the Greek did not uh, have access to being. Hmm? Uh, so one, you have to understand that the, the constitution of metaphysics started ever already before, and perhaps ends infinitely after. But within that, within that, the possibility of deconstructing metaphysics, which is not exactly going out of it, but disassembling uh, its parts in order to, to grasp something which is under the composition but remains invisible by or through the composition itself. You know? So, then, and then, of course, I take something uh, which Heidegger never state. Then you have to go more into, within metaphysics itself, which means into ontotheology, which means onto theo as well as onto onto. <laughs> On to, on to, if I, so, and then, and then I just uh, return briefly to, to, to all the main statement on of Heidegger about Dasein, the Fallen, um, relationship to, to death, um, Ereignis, and Ereignis. That's all is, but not very easy, is a um, I would say in Heidegger's uh, terms, so wonderful um, to take as Christian. You know. And the, the, the disease this is certainly an, an, an important question to understand why. No, I can't understand why he never mm, wanted to recognize that, because he's very aware of the the other side of Christianity, of the church, domination, etc., etc. But that's a possibility, the very possibility of ontotheology and, of course, of the self-deconstruction of ontotheology is as well in, 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 the, in the Greek tradition and in the Judeo-Christian tradition because both compose one unique Things, which is ontotheology, that I am, you know, I'm sure about that. I'm absolutely sure. And uh, I have one other argument, it, which is, why, why is Heidegger, what well, must say after Husserl, the first in the tradition which he convokes himself as his own tradition to take so much Christianism or Christianity uh, apart on the side. All his relationship to Hegel, which is so, so, so important, so profound, so especially so, so the text on Hegel and his, uh, his um, begrief from the Afaun, uh, 